Hello friends, welcome back to my channel Techno Education Academy. In this video lecture, uh, we will derive the equation of heat conduction through composite cylinder. First of all, what is composite cylinder? Composite cylinder means if the cylinder uh, which is made by more than one layer, it is called composite cylinder. Okay, the real life application of uh, composite cylinder. Okay, uh, whenever we transmit the uh, electricity through the cables, underground cables. So at that time you can observe that it is uh, made by number of layers. Okay, it is the example of composite cylinder. The underground cable it is the example of composite cylinder. Another example you can consider uh, the example of steam pipe. Okay, which is used in thermal power plant. Okay, so our objective is to prevent the heat transfer from the steam to the surrounding. So at that time we are using uh, number of insulator on the uh, steam pipe. Okay, so it is also the example of composite cylinder. Okay, there are so many applications of composite cylinder in our day to day life. So to solve this type of problem, okay, uh, we use this theorem or we are using these equations of heat transfer. So let us start. Consider a hollow composite cylinder made of material having constant thermal conductivity and insulated at both the sides. So, uh, this is the schematic diagram. Here you can see that let THF, it is the temperature of the hot fluid flowing inside the cylinder. Okay, for example, uh, whenever we solve the problem of the steam pipe, so the steam it is a hot fluid and the surrounding means atmospheric air, it is a cold fluid. So, here we are considering THF, it is the temperature of the hot fluid inside the cylinder and TCF. Okay, it is the temperature of the cold fluid or we can say atmospheric air. Ka, it is the thermal conductivity of the inside the layer. Okay, here we are considering two layers. You can also consider three, four, but for our simplicity, here we are only considering two layers. Okay, on the pipe uh, or uh, we can say uh, on the wall of the cylinder. So, Ka, it is the thermal conductivity of the inside layer A. Kb. It is the thermal conductivity of the outside layer B and T1, T2 and T3 respectively it is the temperature at point 1, 2 and T and uh, here we are considering L is the length of the composite cylinder and uh, HHF and HCF, HHF means heat transfer coefficient for hot fluid and HCF, it is the heat transfer coefficient for cold fluid. Okay, it is considered in case of a convection. So, here the convection as well as conduction, okay, both uh, it will be take place uh, in inner and outer cylinder. Here you can see that in inner cylinder, okay, here we are considering hot fluid. So, hot fluid to the inner surface of the pipe, we are considering convection. In the layer A and B, here the conduction will be take place and the outer layer of the B and the surrounding, okay, the convection will be take place. So, the rate of heat transfer is given by inside uh, the pipe or inside the cylinder, okay, Q equal to according to the Newton law of cooling, Q equal to HA delta T, okay, we have already uh, discussed, okay, in our uh, previous lecture of heat transfer, Fourier law for conduction and uh, Newton law of cooling for convection. If you want to clear your fundamental, then you can uh, visit my playlist of heat transfer and uh, watch these videos. So, according to the Newton law of cooling, Q equal to HA delta T. So, here HHF, okay, it is the heat transfer coefficient for hot fluid. Here, the area of the cylinder is uh, 2 pi RL. So, here we are already considered L is the length of the cylinder and uh, the convection it will be take place inside the cylinder. So, here we are considering first radius from the origin of the cylinder. So, R1. So, 2 pi R1 into L it is the area for heat transfer for convection and the temperature difference THF hot fluid and inner surface of the uh, first layer of the cylinder. So, THF minus T1 same as in layer A and layer B, conduction will be take place, so it will follow Fourier law. And according to the Fourier law, Q equal to minus Ka dt by dx, we have already discussed. So, here we are considering Ka, it is the uh, thermal conductivity for layer 1. 
uh, here the area is remain same 2 by rl but uh, it is in logarithmic form we have already derived it in my previous lecture of uh, heat transferred through cylindrical coordinate system okay so uh, q equal to minus k dt by dx whenever we compare it and temperature difference is t1 minus t2 same as for layer b the heat transfer equation is kb 2 pi l t2 minus t3 okay in layer b the temperature difference is t2 and t3 and uh, ln r3 by r2 same as the outer surface of the cylinder layer b and atmospheric air the convection will be take place so it will follow a newton law pulling q equal to h delta t and here h is hcf heat transfer coefficient for cold fluid and the convection will be take place uh, through the outer periphery of the layer b so its area is 2 pi r3 okay here uh, the radius is r3 and length it will remain same so 2 pi r3 into l it is the area and uh, temperature difference is t3 and tcm this is the uh, outer surface temperature of atmospheric air cold fluid tcf and t3 it is the temperature of outer layer of b so whenever we rearrange this uh, four equation okay we have already discussed in previous slide so now we will make the object delta t from this four equation so make the object uh, temperature difference from this four equation so we are getting uh, this another four equation so here you can see that this delta t term here we make an object so uh, in denominator of q this term is it is in denominator so this term is it is in denominator of q same as uh, for another three equation okay so we are getting another four equation in terms of temperature difference it is called equation 1 2 3 and 4 so adding the equation 1 2 3 and 4 we are getting okay from this four equation okay uh, here we uh, add the equation from left hand side term and right hand side term separately so here you can see that uh, in all four equation okay q heat transfer term is common and uh, 2 pi l it is also common so it is keep it outside so here you can see that whenever the addition will be take place from left hand side and right hand side so uh, in uh, terms of temperature difference okay this t1 term is cancelled because this is minus t1 this is plus t1 this is minus t2 this is plus t2 minus t3 and plus t3 so whenever the addition will be take place so only remaining term is thf minus tcf and on another side this is a common term q upon 2 pi l in bracket 1 upon uh, hhf uh, into r1 plus 1 upon ka uh, divided by ln r2 by r1 plus 1 upon kb ln r3 by r2 plus 1 upon hcf into r3 so continue from a previous slide now we will make the object q okay so the remaining term it is in denominator and this 2 pi l it is multiply with this delta t term thf minus tcf so we are getting q equal to this equation further we simplified this equation if there are n concentric cylinder is given okay here we are only considering two layer for example we are considering more than two layer three four five so we are considering number of cylinder n concentric layer of the cylinder so for this uh, universal equation we can also write down q equal to 2 pi l in bracket thf minus tcf divided by 1 upon hhf into r1 and uh, this is the submission of number of layers okay so we are considering sigma n equal to 1 n equal to n so uh, number of layers for example we are considering three layers so there are three separate registers for example we are considering four layers so n equal to 4 so there are four separate registers we have to calculate okay and put uh, this in equation to solve the examples and uh, 1 upon hhf into rn plus 1 okay it is for outer layer and uh, atmospheric air okay here the convection will be take place so it is the convection resistance uh, between 
outer layer of the cylinder and surrounding or we can say atmospheric air. If inside and outside heat transfer coefficient are not considered, then the above equation can be written as, okay, for example, we are not considering the convection in inside and outside uh, surface of the cylinder, composite cylinder. So, here we neglect first and last term, okay, and uh, we can write down this equation, okay. So, this is the heat conduction equation for composite cylinder. So thank you friends for watching this video. I hope this content it will be helpful to you. If you would like to watch this type of more technical videos, then please subscribe our channel and also share with your friends for more video notification.